random things on Clip Niger online channel. And on this show, we feature celebs, entertainers, and get them to answer random questions on no particular order. You can follow us on our Facebook, on YouTube, and Instagram at Clip Niger, and on Twitter, or rather X, at Clip Niger One. You can also visit www.clipniger.gov.ng for live stream. I am Suleiman Ghani, and with me is a magician. Please don't turn me into a stone or uh, something uh, like uh, that. Yeah, safe, okay, yeah, safe. All right, thank you. Uh, his name is Ifarin D or Yeyemi. If you are to pick, which would you throw away? Love or money? Love or money? I think I'll go for love. I can always get money anytime, even if I throw it away. Wow. True magic, true other news. Wow. That's quite interesting. Where do you think the name Nigeria is coming from? The name Nigeria coming from? Uh, Nigeria area, I think. Yeah. Well, that's superb. Now, if you were to choose between these uh, female Nigerian celebrities, one to be, you know, forgotten in an island with, and the other as a roommate, who would you choose? Funke Akindele and Tiwa Savage. Oh, okay. Um, one as a roommate and the other to be forgotten on an island. Yeah. I think I'll choose Tiwa Savage for the island part and then Funke Akindele can be my roommate. Why should I ask the reason why? Study together, you know. Oh. You know that. Why I want to let like, Tiwa on the island? No, don't worry. I don't need to talk about <laughs> All right. I won't ask any further. You've been an illusionist for. 10 years. Right. How did it all start? Uh, it started out of boredom. Actually, I was I was uh, watching Americans Got Talent on YouTube then, that was 10 years ago. And then I came across some magical performances and I said, well, I can do this, I can do this. So I started practicing, I started trying to like get myself used to that. And then one day I just found out I, I, I did something, uh, one of the performances then was by Matt Franco, okay. a renowned magician, and there was a performance he did on Americans Got Talent, which I uh, practiced the same and I did it and I saw myself in front of me like, I can actually do this, and that was where everything started from. From there, I started picking up other things. And wow, the inspiration, and it? Yeah. A lot of people here in Nigeria yeah. sees, uh, you know, magic as a... Uh, witchcraft or sorcery. What do you say about that? If you think it's witchcraft, then it's witchcraft. If you think it's magic, then it's magic. But don't forget, mine is illusion anyway, so we all know what illusion is. But if you think it's witchcraft, of course I won't stop you from thinking. <laughs> so everyone is entitled to of his course, own opinion. Yeah. How do you, you know, develop new magic tricks? Uh, it takes a lot of hard work, it takes a lot of, uh, you know, you have to uh, watch previous things, you know, you have, you have known lots of magicians and then when you look at their work, it's just like doing a research and then, you know, you now add your own kind of uh, touch to it and then it will inspire you to also now, now uh, do uh, new things apart from what you have learned, you know. Well, that's quite interesting. How difficult is it to become a magician? A magician, I would say it's kind of inbuilt. If you don't have that passion, if you don't have that drive, you can never be a magician. Uh, maybe I'll try being a magician now oh, okay. as well myself. Ah, good. <laughs> I'll mentor you on that. <laughs> Thank you for that. But first I'll turn you into something. Oh, I'll please, don't. please don't. <laughs> and, uh, have you ever goofed during a performance? And how did you save the, uh, the situation? Uh, you know, every magician should always have different plans when performing. So that if, if one fails, you can switch into the other one without the audience. That, that it, it's normal in life. You can, every, there's not, nobody's perfect. And I remember my performance then where I wanted to do something very special and then there was a slight fail. Nobody could tell it was a fail anyway. So. I had my way of switching into another performance immediately and then coming back to that. So. Well, this is Random Things on Click Niger online channel. Subscribe to our channel. Don't miss that opportunity. And I'm speaking with Ifarinde or Deyemi, aka The Oracle. In magic, there are unsaid magician rules. 
Why is it very important to follow those rules? The magician, you have a kind of code that you sign. It's not an official code, but you sign it as a magician in your heart. Because the moment you start to expose those secrets, yeah. it loses its value. I mean, you know, you have people screaming, you do something very, very fantastic, and then people are screaming, and then you go on and say, this is like, and people are like, oh, okay, 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 I get it. So <laughs> this is its value. When yes. You know, that's why that means secrets. things will get spoiled. Yeah, exactly. What was the first magical trick you learned? Um, that would be cards, card tricks. Well, card trick. Yeah. Uh, can you show me some? Like card tricks. Okay. So how do you do it? Oh, you might show me a little. Some, okay. Yes. Uh, let's see. What number is this? This is nine, of course. Nine of hearts. Nine of okay, hearts. Okay. If you open your hand like this. All right. Yeah, just one. I'm just going to return this, and then I'll put that nine here. Cover it with that hand. Okay. Okay. Good to go. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to show you another card. This is a joker. This is joker. Okay, good. I'm going to hold the joker in my hand like this. Now wave that card like this. Okay. Wave that hand like this. All right. Like that. I'm waving what mine. What card you saw? Nine hearts. You can check now. Nine hearts. Do you used to have that nine hearts? I have it with me. How did he just do that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what makes one a good magician? I would say confidence. You have to be confident, you have to believe in yourself, and two, you have to practice. Okay. Practice makes perfection, you have to practice very well. You know, you don't want to go out there and be doing things and then you're just goofing up and down, so you have to yeah. practice. So I would say, keep your confidence high, Okay. and then practice hard. That's interesting. Now, how do you describe, uh, you know, the level of acceptance? Uh, of your profession in Nigeria? Uh, the level of uh, acceptance is pretty low at the moment. That is why uh, as magicians, we have, a, we have a group of magicians called the League and uh, we are doing so many things uh, to, to make it, uh, accept, to increase the acceptability in Nigeria. And uh, presently there is, there, in Lagos, there is a weekly show in Lagos by magicians, which uh, all the magicians in the country we all we usually go so Lagos happens every week. Well, we we'll go to Lagos to perform and just to bring people together to come and see magic, come and witness magic. Well, can you give me a little more of your magical performance other than the cat trick? Of course. <laughs> okay. Um, here's what we do. I will like your both hands to be empty. Oh. Okay. Well, do you know how to shuffle? Yeah. Okay. Good. Try. Okay. Good. Bam, 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 bam. You're not getting anything this time around. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I'll make sure of that. Please do. Uh, bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. I think they're quite sharp now. Okay, good. Right, so, so I'm going to ask you to choose two cards. Any two, two cards. cards. From anywhere. All right. I'll pick one right here. Yes. One right here. First of all, let me make sure that you did not see. No, 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 no. Make sure I don't see it. Because the, the idea is for me not to see the cards at all. All right. I think I'm good. Good to go. Okay, you can drop okay. the two cards on the deck. Okay, good. So open your hands like this. I'm going to drop the deck here. You place your hand on it. Yes, just like that. Okay, so I'm sure uh, you remember your cards. Yeah. Do you remember your cards? Right, okay. right. Okay, good. So if you let me pick. Uh, a few cards from here. Uh, I have three cards here, and then I'm just going to pick one more. Sorry, cover it, cover it, cover it. Come next. I'm just going to pick one more. So I don't know which of this is your card, but you know there is one beautiful thing about this magic is that everybody watching right now thinks I'm the magician. Yeah. But you are actually the magician. So I'm going to tell the audience and the viewers. They are giving you a round of applause. Oh really? Yeah. Right now. Let's get to it. Yeah. So you can show them the remaining deck of cards in your hands. I can't wait. Show them what you have in your hand. Uh, 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 what the heck? <laughs> How did he just do that? Magic. Man, you are Mr. Impeccable. Thank you. Master of the mystic arts. Thank you. I that. Thank you. Well, uh, <laughs> I just can't imagine how. How did you just do that? 
Well, uh, I'm going to be the apprentice one. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to cost you a lot. No problem. Lots of time. I'm going to be great. How challenging is it to make a career in magic? Level of uh, acceptance in uh, the country is low. Yeah. And so, how do you now make a career of something that is not uh, yet fully accepted in society? So, it's going to take a lot of hard work. Yes, it's going to be, in fact, you are going to be kind of like, it's going to be kind of like a pioneering kind of thing. And you know that the first people to start things are not actually the ones that reap yeah, right. the good things from there. Exactly. Yes. You know, so, it's, it's going to take a lot of hard work. But I don't mind anyway. It's, it's, it's a passion, it's a hard work to do. Well, that's great. Yeah. What has been your biggest achievement as a magician? My biggest achievement was uh, performing a magic that has never been seen before in Nigerian TV. And uh, that was done on the Nigerian Spirit Talent Hunt. Wow. Yeah, the competition that was done in Calabar. And then after that, I performed it several places in, around the country as well. Wow. So I would say that is my favorite performance. That's my favorite magic performance. And maybe uh, as time goes on, I'm still doing, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, researching more on magic. So as time goes on, I'm going to have better ones. What do you think about magic? I think magic is uh, an art. Magic is a way of uh, expressing yourself. Magic is a way of, 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 of making the impossible possible. So uh, I think magic is an entertainment. It surely yeah. is an entertainment. Of course. Please, if you wouldn't buy, entertain me once more. Maybe I'll just do that. So now I'm going to give, bring out this red piece of cloth. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's red. Do you see green? I'm seeing green, of course. You're yeah, going to argue? Is it red or is it green? I'm a Nigerian, so I can tell you this oh, is green. It's surely green. Okay, beautiful. So if it's green, do you still see the cloth? Well, uh, is it still red or is it still green? <laughs> <laughs> this is not a red, no green. Okay, good, thank you. Well, if you don't mind, I can still give you one more. If you don't mind, I won't. Okay, good. So I'll just kill, okay, kill. Okay. okay, good. So I have a red ball here, a red ball right here, and another red ball. Two red, so red balls. Yes, yeah, good. So I want you. I'm going to pick this one. Okay. And I'm going to tell you to close this hand. No, no, with this hand. Yeah, like, um, yeah, like, like this. Like, yeah, close it tight. Exactly like that. This hand. Yeah, like good. Them. That's it. So if I take this ball and I put it in my hand like this. Yes. Right. Yeah. You know, if I snap my finger once, no, open your hand. All right. This one is actually going to disappear. Do you believe? You just put it in your hand. Yeah. It's going to disappear. Let's get that. Okay, what? This one, one, two, three. Nah, I see there. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just waiting to see what would happen. Okay, okay, so open the hands again. Okay. Let's do it again. Yeah, so you have one ball here. You have yeah. one ball here. I'm going to put this in this hand. Okay, take this one and put it in this hand. Cover it. Okay. And turn it upside down. All right. Yeah. Now, what this time around, like I said, the first time I snapped my finger, yes. it was supposed to disappear, but it didn't disappear. Yes. But this time around, if I tap it one, two, it's actually going to disappear this time around. And oh, guess where it is? Can you see it? It's still in this hand. Can you see it? Where? It's still there, it's just transparent. Can you see it? It's I can't, I can't see, see it, but you cannot I see it. Okay, I'm going to drop it back on this hand and cover it. And when I do this, I'm just going to dissolve it right in this hand. If you open that hand now for the camera, let's see. How many? How many do you have there? Oh, oh. God. Man, how did you do that? Master of the Mystic. Ups, as I see. Well, that's quite interesting. What are the things you cannot do without as a magician? The things I cannot do without? Yes. Uh, well, I can't do without my cards. Your cards? Yes. I can't do without my confidence. Confidence. And I can't I do without my bravado. Bravado. They are like, I am the oracle. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Yes. I would like. Yeah. I know that. Of course. I know That's that. one of my signatures. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> it's Click Niger, and this is Random Things. I'm speaking with Ifarinde or Deyemi, aka the Oracle.
I give him Master of the Mystic Arts. Right. All right, this is where we call it a wrap on this particular show. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Facebook, and Instagram at ClickNiger, and on Twitter at ClickNiger1. I am Suleiman Ghani saying, see you on the next one. Thank you.